Congratulations and thank you for purchasing the Rescue app. This is the smartest safety app you'll have on your iPhone. During this short instructional video, we will review the setup features of the Rescue app and you will see for yourself how simple and intuitive Rescue is. If you require, press pause at any time during the video to program your Rescue app and then continue on to the next section. First, select the Rescue app icon. Since this is the first time you are using the Rescue app, you'll be prompt to allow the Rescue app to use the GPS if the phone is GPS equipped and to complete the setup. If your phone is not GPS equipped or the location services are turned off, the Rescue app will still function and only your location information will not be transmitted. Select OK to the information notices. To program Rescue, simply select each icon and enter or verify the information fields as displayed. The first icon is the local emergency number. In an emergency, when you activate Rescue, this number will be sent an SMS declaring an emergency and your phone will automatically dial the number. You can either accept the GPS pre-programmed number or select an emergency number from our database of over 200 countries and regions including North America, the European Union and the United Kingdom. Or if you want to manually program a specific emergency services number you simply enter the number of your choice. Once you have verified that the local emergency number is as you want, simply press save to store the information. In case you activate Rescue while on holidays or traveling on business, the Rescue app will use the phone's GPS to detect the region or country you are in and will automatically insert the appropriate local emergency number from the provided database. If your phone is not GPS equipped, simply enter the main settings page from the launch screen to manually insert the region or country you are visiting and press save. The next icon is your personal SMS and email contacts. If Rescue app has been activated, these contacts will receive an emergency message via SMS or email declaring that you are experiencing an emergency. In this message will be your location linked to Google Maps if GPS equipped and your callback number so that they can instantly locate where you are. You can enter up to four personal contacts either manually using the keypad or through your contact list. After you are done, simply press save. The next icon is your profile information. This profile information will be included in your emergency message to your personal contacts. Please enter your name as you would like, as well as the callback number of your phone. This is to ensure that even with call blocking or without caller ID, your callback number will be transmitted to those programmed in your rescue app so they can instantly call you back. After you're done, simply press save. The next icon is the test feature. This feature will send a test message to those programmed in your personal SMS and email contacts. The local emergency number will not be notified or called. The test message to your personal contacts will declare that this is only a test. Using this feature is useful to ensure that the contacts you have chosen will receive a message in a timely manner in the event that you have to declare a real emergency. If you have chosen to test the app, after it's completed, simply return to the settings page. You will notice at the bottom of the main settings page that each rescue app comes preloaded with 10 global Wi-Fi activated SMS. So no matter where you are in the world or whatever data plan you have, if you have Wi-Fi available and accessible, your emergency SMSs will be sent. If after testing or for whatever reason you need more rescue SMS or would simply like to have more than the initial amount provided, 
simply select the in-app purchase icon to reload your rescue app. If your rescue app has been reduced to three rescue SMS or less, a small red SMS triangle over the settings icon will flash on the launch screen, prompting you to enter the settings page and recharge your global rescue SMS. No matter how many times you need help or whomever you need to contact, your rescue app will be the lifeline that could save your life. After you have programmed your rescue app, simply press save. You'll be prompt to confirm that you have programmed the rescue app as you require. If you are satisfied, you are finished. Simply press OK. Your app is now programmed and ready for you to use. To ensure that your rescue app is always at your fingertips, we recommend that you place the rescue app icon into the bottom dock of your iPhone. This will allow easy access to rescue no matter how many pages of apps you have on your phone. This redocking is done by simply pressing the app until all icons begin to wiggle. Use your finger to slide one app from your bottom dock onto the app page. and then slide the rescue app into its place. Then press the home button to lock the rescue app icon for easy access. That's it, you're done.